I think when he got the bravery from alcohol, I was like, oh, <laughs> I'm quite impressed with how strong you're coming on right now. <laughs> so first, I just want to ask, how are you doing since your scooter injury? It looked horrible. Yeah, it was. I'm good, though. Thank you. I just got a few scars, but. Oh, my gosh. And you went you went running with broken toes. Did your did your doctor yell at you about that? He did. Yes, but it was worth it. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, you are such a powerhouse on the boat. You are amazing at your job, but it is very much still a male dominated team for the most part or a male, a male position. Usually a male holds this position. So what challenges do you find that you still face in this role? Um, you know, sometimes it can be challenging figuring out how to connect with the crew, like with my deck crew specifically, um, and trying not to feel like kind of on the outside with your team. Um, cause you know, it's sometimes you look at the girls in the interior and there's just all these girls like getting along and chatting and you kind of miss that camaraderie on deck, but once you get in, then it's the best. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, so let's talk a little bit about the stews and specifically Lexi. Obviously, she's been a big source of this or a big storyline this season has been her her drama. Um, do you think Lexi should have been fired? That's a tough one because I do think that um, we should give second chances. Everyone has a drunken night that they regret. And this being her first one, I think that that's, you know, that's something we can look past. Um, if the behavior or like physically pushing someone keeps up, then I would say she should be fired. Yeah. Why, why do you think she got a pass this time? Um, I think that it's because, you know, a captain generally does like to give crew second chance and you know she was going through a lot at the time and none of the crew were like ah get rid of her like you know yeah no one was so deeply hurt by what she did that they needed her off the boat but you know i think we all were willing to say we've had bad nights let's have a a new start yeah do you think captain sandy asked enough questions about what went on since she wasn't there she didn't really witness it do you think yeah, I, you know, this is with every captain. And I think when I'm a captain, I'll do the same. Captains aren't there to figure out who said he said she said. They're there to be like, right, just give me the general gist of what happened. Was anyone physically harmed? Mm -hmm. You know, were things like so far over the line. I don't need to know the nitty gritty. I just need to know, can we move past it as a team or can we not? And, you know, we decided we can. So, yeah. What did you think about her calling herself Satan and the burn list? Were you wishing for a new roommate? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that kind of stuff is very unsettling to me. Like, you know, I, let's just kind of leave like Satan and stuff out of it. Um, the burn list is shocking because obviously I've never really met a lot of adults that have burn lists. I think that's a little, that whole thing kind of made me uneasy. And I was just, when she didn't want to room with me anymore, I was like, right. Yeah. I have no problem with that. <laughs> Yeah, Katie really took one for the team. How do you how do you think uh, Katie handled this situation overall? I think with what she was dealt with, she handled it really well. You know, I don't think Katie, yeah, I don't think Katie was up for a second chance at first. You know, she kind of just wanted to be done with it. I think that's maybe her stew sense. Um, but uh, I think with what she was dealt, she handled it with grace. <laughs> yeah. Um, now that the episodes are out and Lexi watches it back and sees you know, her behavior, because she didn't remember a lot of it. Do you think she'll reach out to you guys? Has she reached out? I don't think that she will. Um, you know, the, the story with Lexi isn't done, so you'll get to see, you know, what else happens and what we go through with Lexi. Um, but I think what's happened has happened with Lexi, and she's just kind of done with it, and that's fair. Like, yeah. yeah. Um, would, would you work? What'd you say? I said, I'm sure she's regretting some things like we all do. Yeah, I mean, it's hard when you don't remember and then you have cameras there to help you. <laughs> um, do you think her apology was sincere? <laughs> um, not completely. I think she was kind of like, yeah, whatever. I don't remember. I'm sorry. Like everyone get over it. And we were kind of like, how do you not remember? Like right. you were saying some like pretty intense stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. So I don't think it was as sincere as we wanted it to be, but I think for her, that's the best we were going to get. Yeah. Um, would you work with her again? Uh, not by choice, <laughs> probably. Yeah. Okay. I mean, 
luckily on my position, I don't really usually have to deal with the stews too much, but not my right. choice. Right. <laughs> That's true. Um, let's talk a little bit about Chef Matt, the, the other big storyline this season. It's been so interesting to watch him. He's uh, definitely different than some chefs we've seen in the past. Um, do you think he deserved he deserves to come back after quitting for a second time? Uh, do I think he deserves quitting, to come back? Um, not necessarily. I, you know, like most of the times on a boat, if you quit, you're done, you know? But, um, I think in this case he had a bad, again, it was like a drunken night and he immediately came back. And because he was so apologetic, you know, he instantly went up to everyone and was like, guys, my bad. I'm sorry. It's my fault. Let me make it up to you guys. So I think because he did that, um, we were more receptive to having him back. Did it feel sincere with him? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, would you work with him again? <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> Strangely, yes. <laughs> Do you think that it was fair that he did not want to make the crew food? How does that normally work on a boat? Like, does the chef usually handle both the crew and the and the guest? They do. So for this size of the boat, it's difficult because it's a sole chef position. So you don't have any extra help. So he's right in saying that sometimes the chef can order food in and things, but generally it is always the chef's job to cook the crew food. Um, but it can be a lot. I mean, when we knock off for the day, he's still cooking food, you know, like it can be a lot. Yeah. We're what was the crew were they specific with their own food food requests because when i spoke to him he said you know some someone's gluten free on the boat you know it's not like you can just make paninis for everyone or, or whatever it is did anyone have some special requests <laughs> yeah so you do have to cater to crew like alex someone is gluten free um i think someone like didn't eat a lot of meat i don't eat fish so it's like you know it's it's tough job being the chef you don't eat fish and you're a bosun yeah, they're my homies. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. Um, do you think Sandy was a little too forgiving of both Lexi and Matt or either one? I think had she been there and had seen the extent and like how extreme things had gotten, her decision probably would have been different. But, um, yeah. you know, unfortunately, she's not there to see it. She's taking everyone's words. So she kind of does have to be a little unbiased. Yeah. Take a step back. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, let's talk about your crew, your your deck hands. So David hinted at some feelings towards you. Were you aware of this in the, in the moment? Not like, really, not at first. I didn't think so. And then I think it was after the, I think when he got the bravery from alcohol, I was like, oh, <laughs> I'm quite impressed with how strong you're coming on right now. <laughs> yeah. Um, Lloyd as well hinted at some feelings for you, a little crushing. Were you aware of that at the time as well? No, and I actually was never aware of that until I watched it back kind of. I was like, oh, Lloyd had feelings for me. <laughs> Did you reciprocate with either of them? Any any feelings back? Um, not yet, no. Not yet. Okay. <laughs> Maybe. <I'll wait> <laughs> with with your past relationships on the boat, specifically with Tom too, were you hesitant to jump into a boat mance again? Yeah, a hundred percent. I think I even told David that I uh, like, you know, everything with Tom and I was falling apart right before we filmed this season. So um I was a mess coming into it and I was just like, you know, I don't really, I don't really want to even see men right now. <laughs> so I think unfortunately for my admirers, I was not in a place to uh, look for romance. No, I know. I watched that season as well with you and Tom and I thought for sure it was the right, the real deal. Um, so sorry that didn't work out. I know that you opened up about it a little bit on Watch What Happens Live. You said that you haven't heard from him and that he did cheat. Can you elaborate a little bit about that? How did you find out what happened? Um, yeah, we were, you know, working on different boats. It was when the pandemic had just happened. So it was impossible for us to see each other. It was right when the show was coming out. So obviously a lot going on in our lives. Um, and yeah, he found someone else on his boat and I didn't know for a couple months, I found out through a friend and all hell broke loose. <laughs> he's very sorry. He's apologetic. He wants to get back with me, but wow. not not for me. You, you wouldn't consider it? No. When's the last time you spoke? Um, I think when we were filming that. Yeah, when 
he was calling. And, you know, that's right at the end after months of like fighting and just being like, you cheated on me. Yeah. 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 Yeah, no, there's other fish in the sea. Yeah, unfortunately, this industry, it's tough. You're always in these like long distance relationships. You're on different continents, time zones. But, you know, if what were- what is kind of your overall outlook on Boatmances now? Well, the thing is, is in this industry, like it's hard to not have them like, yeah. you know, these are the people we work around. It's just kind of like, you know, every other industry the people you work around are the ones you build these close relationships with. And for us, these may be the only people we meet for months at a time. So you naturally develop feelings towards people. So I think there can be healthy ones. Um, I'm not having given up on them, but yeah, yeah. I don't really want to jump into another long distance one. Yeah, I understand. Um, what did, did you watch sailing yacht and ha- what are your thoughts on Jean-Luc and Danny and, and the fact the baby of it all? <laughs> I have not watched it, but is that the couple that is now having a child? And yeah, they had a child. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, I guess there's a lot going on during filming. Yeah. (laughs) Um, yeah, I wish them the best. That's a lot, especially for two yachties to have a child and right. Make all that work out. Do you see yourself, you know, stepping away from this industry? Obviously you want to be a captain, but how, how do you kind of balance your life with pursuing this career? Yeah, I mean, I do want to be a captain, um, but I also want to put roots down in like, not the sense that I want to have a family, but I do want to have, you know, I want to have a house that I can come home to and things and kind of like a life somewhere. But I think I'm just attracted to traveling and for now, like not really having solid plans. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, We, you know, how did you and Sandy seem to have a great relationship now? Um, after her comments that she had made in passing on cameo about you and, and your sexuality, how did you guys kind of work through that and get past that last season or this season? Uh, well, to be fair, that comment was made the night before we started filming. So I kind of had to just get on the boat and put a big smile on. Um, you know, I think with Captain Sandy, the thing that I know to be true is she never means harm. She never means disrespect or you know she never means for it to be hurtful so I think when that kind of hit the fan she was kind of like well I was just kidding and she didn't realize the consequences it would have for like me and my with my family and friends and you know so she did apologize and I was like it's not a big deal I just (laughs) was not something I needed no wow I had no idea that was the night before you started filming that's crazy (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) yeah um what so I talked to Chef Matthew about this as well. Oh, rank gets brought up a lot this season. Mm-hmm. So, in your opinion, what is the rank in terms of chef, chief stew, bosun, all of that? Give me just kind of your rundown. Yeah, well, your rank is your captain and then your chiefs. So, your chief engineer, your chief officer, your chief stewardess, um, and your head chef. So, those are all head of departments. But what makes Below Deck unique is we don't have a chief officer on the show, so the bosun steps into that role. You're the head of department for the deck crew. Okay. So that's what kind of makes it unique. Naturally, yeah. in, in you know normal yachting, you would have a chief officer and a chief mm-hmm. stew and a head chef and a chief engineer, but we don't see that chief officer on camera, so the bosun steps into that role, so it makes it a difficult... Uh, yeah. yeah, so someone who maybe hasn't been on the show before has a little trouble with that. 